My favorite tattoo artist. That's a tough one. That's tough. There's so many good ones. Uh, my favorite tattoo artist. I've always been really inspired by a lot of new school artists, a lot of cartoonists, uh, guys like Tom Bowman, uh, Tony Suvaro, Jimmy Litwak. Yeah, pretty much anybody who's, you know, got that kind of goofy vibe to them. You know, um, a lot of bold colors, those really fat, playful kind of outlines to it. I'm gonna say in the black and gray realism style, I would say. Uh, Thomas Carly Jarlier, I think that's how you pronounce it. His level of realism is just off the charts. And I'm partial to that style because that's my style. I'm black and gray realism, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with him. Dimitri Samohan's always been a big inspiration. Um, I've been tattooed by two of my favorites, actually Boris and Steve Butcher. Also, actually Luca is another one. And also anyone who can do some more like stylized or like add a, a trippy uh, surrealism effect to it as well. My favorite tattoo artist would be uh, Sam Smith, a lot of local girls. Heather um, McLean, someone more abroad would probably be Megan Massacre, she's one of my favorites. But lots of uh, color, lots of bright, bold artists are my favorite. They're powerhouses. They're, um, they're, you know, they're women who have led in the industry and have kind of changed the way that uh, tattoos are going and we're all coming in as artists and not just, you know, putting tattoos on, so I respect them a lot. So my favorite artists are Victor Portugal, um, Jack Connolly, pretty much any of the like big surrealist artists out there. Uh, Victor Portugal, huge inspiration. He was the first uh, like tattooer of his style shown to me during my apprenticeship. So um, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of history with that. My favorite tattoo artists first that come to mind. I'm going to say Mike Rubendahl, um, big inspiration behind me starting my tattoo career and and when it comes to illustration I usually try to find the happy medium from what I do and what what Mike does in his uh, Japanese style so now that I mean with social media you gather you you pull references and inspiration from so many different people but that's the first one that came to mind and, and really helped jump start my career my favorite tattoo artist probably Jeff Gogway, Teresa Sharp Damien Robertson that I work with. Just solid, like big pieces that flow with the body and become a part of you. I guess I have a few, but like one of my favorite tattoo artists are probably uh, Steve Moore. I have a huge influence by him. Kind of like the local Canadian artists a lot. Yeah. Uh, man, I like some far out people. I like uh, Ben K. He goes by DBK online. Uh, his realism is out of this world, definitely gives me something to think about moving to larger scales. Um, uh, AD Pancho is a favorite of mine. Yeah, those are my two ones that are at the moment really uh, pushing my mind. My favorite tattoo artists are probably Teresa Sharp, Jeff Gogway, and I was lucky enough to get a back piece finished this year by Teresa Sharp, so learning experience and yeah, it's awesome to be wearing her art. They're, they've, I've always been inspired by them just because we tattoo in similar styles. With Teresa specifically, her artwork is just very dynamic and I'm trying to make my stuff a little bit more creative and dynamic and have better flow. So my favorite tattoo artist, I think it's Dimitri Samoin. Uh, actually, I got tattooed by this guy. Uh, he's from Ukraine. I went all the way there. And uh, that was a special, special thing because the guy doesn't speak English at all and no French also, so that was special. Yeah, good adventure for sure. He's doing realism, but in his own way, looks more like a painting. And uh, yeah, he, he's really special. He's like the shit. My favorite tattoo artist will be somebody that doesn't live no more. He, he passed away a long time ago. His name was Paulo Suluape. He used to be uh, one of the master tata, tattoo master from Samoa. He came in uh, Polynesian Islands in, I mean, in Tahiti in 1996, and uh, that's where I met him. And I was, uh, I was younger then, eh? and he really touched my life, right? So he's, I will say he's the one, and he's the one who teach us how to do the traditional tap. I would say that my favorite tattoo artist is Adi Pancho. I'm just like in love with his work, you know, he's doing like some simplified kind of realism way with some contrast of colors. I just think it's kind of Unreal, how we play with everything. I don't actually don't know how to say all of the people's names or know their name, their actual names. I know their Instagrams more, but Sam Daniel Bax, I think, uh, is one of my favorites. I know Heather McLean. She's like a local 
uh, a tattoo artist. She's really, really amazing. I've always found her work really inspirational. Um, a lot of my favorites actually are just from Calgary. Well, a lot of them do more do black work. Um, and um, some of them, it, I like them because the sim simplicity of um, their tattoos is that they feel, I feel like they get a lot of um, really cool designs with doing very like minimal work in them and not saying that that's like I'm just saying that is like um, it can be really tricky to do and make it a really interesting piece so and I've also like followed some of the some of the artists I really like and their style has gone from more complicated to more minimal and I find that it can be it can be really tricky to do that so it's interesting to watch their um, process and their learning who are my favorite tattoo artists um, shit that's that's a grocery list long line of things Unfortunately, I, sitting next to one of my favorite tattoo artists here, uh, I'd say the late Frank Lee, I think definitely kind of helped. Uh, Randy Muller is another I good one. I just saw Randy recently too. Yeah, Randy's another good one. Uh, Victor Chill, I think is pretty much leading up right now, I think with a lot of uh, what I like to look at. I don't know, there's, with uh, social media and the Instagram explosion, it's hard to really kind of narrow it down. Yeah, I mean, I still, uh, my list still goes back to the traditional, like, old school guys, like, not even, they're, they're old school now, but back then they weren't, like Timothy Hoyer, um, you know, Aaron Kane, yeah, that's a good Paul one. Booth, you know. You can't help but remember those guys as being, like, top notch back in the day, you know. And then you've got the newer school guys, where you got, like, the Victor Chills, and I mean, just out of Europe. Oh, yeah, so fucking nice. Russia, Europe. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think the nostalgia of what I go towards is probably going to, a lot of the tattooers that I, I, that I still hold high regard to are probably 20, 25 plus year tattooers that I think really kind of help pave the way that I think a lot of the generations nowadays, you know, sad that it is that you don't really say their name. You know, you, when you bring their names up, a lot of the new Nobody people don't know who they are. are. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst part. Like, you got a lot of these new realism guys that are. I just heard about an interview recently. Uh, I don't remember who did the interview, but I'm not going to name any names. But someone didn't re didn't remember who or didn't know who Robert Hernandez was, and his work got compared to to Robert's, from what I understand. I didn't I didn't see this. I, I, really? I overheard, yeah. No and he had no idea who the fuck he was, and he had to look him up on Instagram. And I'm just like, who the fuck are you? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, think like for same. me, it's always been someone who's got their own style, someone who actually stands out on their own, not just some guy who just copies pictures. My favorite tattoo artist, time to time he changed it. Um, I really like Toshige's work, uh, but I'm not doing Asian work anymore. I do just uh, black and gray realism. When I liked him, I learned a lot of stuff from him. And now Silvano, Faito, I like. Um, all different, you know, black and gray artists nowadays, like coming up, I really like. Like for me, uh, doing black and gray, and black ink is the uh, most important part of the black and gray. So some people use a lot of black, some people don't use a lot of black, and that differentiates the, the favorite part of, you know, um, the piece of it. My favorite tattoo artist is the guy I'm sitting next to right now. Um, I'd have to say, Ooh, Robert Hernandez. Um, Can't steal my answers, man. <laughs> uh, Sergio Sanchez. Just different styles, different approaches, the way they utilize the skin, um, textures. Man, that was my same answer. <laughs> no, uh, my favorite tattoo artist, uh, I think number one would, uh, one of the guys that influenced me the most would be Robert Hernandez. And just, uh, I've always kind of thought of him as like the dolly of uh, the tattoo world in his surrealism. So like uh, Robert Hernandez, Paul Booth, uh, Nico Hurtado for what he did with the color world, and uh, yeah, that was about it. Uh, my favorite tattoo artists are probably Philip Millick, Chris Davidson, Jason Butcher, probably Nico Hurtado too. Uh, they just all do like similar styles that I'm attracted to, like that I kind of portray in my own work with the black and gray realism, and then uh, the portrait realism, and then just like kind of ornate stuff, like different stuff. They're all very different artists too. It's kind of an unfair question. I, I have so many artists that I look up to and follow. Um, friends, close friends, I, you know, I'd have to say one of my buddies, Saga, I watch all his work closely and, and you know, I really you know, admire what he can do. And I guess I'm always kind of that guy too who's trying to do a lot in a little amount of time. And out of anyone I've ever seen, he's the guy that does it. But um, names you can throw out all day long. Bob Tyrell was one of the first big names that I started following when I was getting into it. 
I'm a realist artist, so you know I've done his portrait seminar years ago, and you know I still follow all Bob's work. But um, Nico Hurtado and other like goes into the color portrait stuff that isn't so much me, but the level of realism is off the hook. Steve Butcher, another guy, like he's just doing insane um, depth with his focal points and his tattoos, and it, there's so many, there's so many artists. It, honestly, it's almost hard to keep up with the talent that is out there these days, but thankfully for things like Instagram and social media, you know, we can find so many people that it's, it's mind boggling. It is overwhelming. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? Um, I always love Phil Garcia, his flowers blow my mind. Um, yes. <laughs> Leanne Mule, I think that's how her name is pronounced from the UK. I love her soft painterly style. My favorite tattoo artist by far, number one, is Heather McLean. Um, she did my sleeve and um, everything about her just, she is my number one. And um, Sam Smith is a big influencer as well. Um, she's in my mind kind of like the queen of Neo Trad. One of the girls that I now work with, um, Autumn Dancer, she is, her animals are by far my favorite. So I think those are probably my top three. There's so many, but top three. My favorite tattoo artist, uh, I think that could be a, a, a couple of different parts to the question because it can be broken down into, you know, these days everybody, it seems like everybody wants to specialize in some sort of specialization. And I think it's pretty ridiculous. I think that, like, I'm, I'm a tattooer and I, you know, like my, my appointment schedule would be, you know, my first appointment might be lettering, my second appointment might be a, a portrait and, you know, work on a Japanese sleeve and so I think, you know, with, with the, um, specialization thing I think it got a little it, the, the lines have blurred and I think you know I have favorite artists that are my favorite black and gray artists I have favorite artists that are it's hard to give an overall thing but I think some of my some of my favorite artists are are friends of mine that have also managed to do one of the hardest things in tattooing which is stay relevant you know over the years you know grimy for example one of my favorite artists Henry Lewis one of my favorite artists and these are these are well-rounded artists that can do anything that walks in the door and fucking crush it without even a, a shadow of a doubt. You know, in a Japanese tattoo, for example, you know, like you have Horiyoshi, you have Philip Liu, right? You have these people that, that have raised the bar so high. And to me, like, let's take finger waves if it would break down a section of the tattoo, let's say. Finger waves, so to me, Philip Liu's finger waves look, to me, in my opinion, that's how it should look. Horiyoshi, that's how it should look if it's a traditional Japanese piece. And I think that's that's really it. You know, there's there's guys I like to do color portraits. There's guys I like to do, you know, traditional. So there's there's a lot of different like traditional wise. We got you know Burt Crack. We got Chad Copelinger. We got uh, I mean it's on and on and on. Um, black and gray. We got uh, God man. You you name it. You know, there's so many people that I've never heard of that come from these, you know, especially in the European world, these Eastern Bloc countries that. You know, I don't know, I don't even know what they're using, but it's it's unbelievable these 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 things that are being being put out in the world. And you got guys that are starting to tattoo that have wanted to do this from from the beginning. You know, and, and the next you know the next Nico Hurtado is in middle school right now. We never heard of this fucking kid, and he's going to graduate in a couple years and and kill it the same same way Nico did, and the same way you know whoever you know else has done. So um, I've got a lot of favorites, but I think it's 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 broken down into different genres of tattooing. So, um, you know, hopefully naming a few can, can educate the people into, into doing their own research. And with the internet, you know, there's really no reason for anybody to get a bad tattoo um, unless it's their own choice and they want to keep it real and get tattooed by their friends that are doing dog shit, so.